Hey everybody, welcome back to D-Zoned. Let's go ahead and fire up the Wadnator and see what we've got. We've got Arsenal, shut up watch. Ha <laughs> ha, I don't even know if that came through. I just like yelling at my watch. Anyway, Arsenal 2 kind of feels like a conversion. Yep, and it also looks like I misspelled something in the Wadnator music manifest. Maybe. I don't know. I thought I copied and pasted most of the stuff, but oh eh, well. From Plan A of the cart of Cartman's two, yeah. I'll t I'll check that afterwards. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what this is all about. So conversion. I'm fully expecting there to be an inconvenient arch file because there always is. Blue key, very well marked. What the ass? All right, give me one of these. Give me some of the good stuff. Anything in here? That was an old double barrel. That wasn't originally there. Let's use this. It's a little faster. And that's a random mancubus. Two of them. So I wonder what was originally supposed to be here. Probably like a pinky or something. Do you like Kako? Sure thing! What? Why did I... <laughs> Please don't auto-switch me to the freaking chain gun. <laughs> Why were there... Why are there Nazis in this level? Like, this doesn't make any sense. I mean, that, to my knowledge, the converter doesn't change things into SS. Okay, that's not a thing. Alright. This is weird. I don't even know how I feel about this. I mean, I'm glad to change those into Hell Knights, because that probably would have been a bunch of barons otherwise. Oh. Yeah, let's just let's use this now. What a weird level. Excuse me. Um... Why, Cyber Demon? Why? Why? Great, now he's probably in front of the door. Okay, let's move him further away. Oh, fuck you. <sighs> okay. Kind of getting the vibe that you're not supposed to kill that guy. Throwing that out there. Maybe this was designed as a Doom 2 wad. I don't know. That's a nice sky you got there. All I know is it doesn't seem to have any health whatsoever. The frick? Was that 20 damaging floor? Kinda makes me wonder if the author of this might actually just be out of their mind. So as I was saying... <laughs> okay, so um... Sure? Oh, for the love of... This is actually painful. I don't even have Berserk Fists. I guess the intent was to, um... For this map to not be UV maxed. Please take me back to the city. Ugh. What the hell did I just play? So, um... I don't know if you need me to point out what's wrong with that map. I'm not, I'm not even sure if I could point out what's wrong with that map in, like, ten minutes. Uh, yeah, that, that's gonna be a big ol' one and a half out of ten for me. And the only reason it's that high is because it's technically beatable. Alright, moving on. What have we got next? Wadnator. Give me something better. So this one at least seems like it's designed for, well... 
I mean, it's a Doom 1 map, and it seems to be, you know, intact in terms of it having a text file. Postmortem by Steve Stang. Oh, that's a name. Miscellaneous author. Oh, he's dead, Jim, at AOL.com. Very nice. Miscellaneous author info. Star Trek and Doom fanatic. Who isn't? Well, fair enough. Description. Stepping into the elevator after a hard day's work at the Widget Factory, you suddenly find yourself magically transported to the magical land of Doom. Uh, This isn't like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, buddy. Doom takes place in hell. (laughs) Anyway. Well, part of it does. Where, greeted by the local denizens, you set off on a mystical journey down the yellow brick road. Hey, wait a minute. Wrong storyline. Okay. Y- you got me, Steve. Additional credits to all the fine and demented minds at id Software, the developers of Do and BSP, also demented, and my life, my life, my wife, Laura, who put up with my hours of level creation with the patience of a saint. Thanks. This is an E2M5 replacement. Single player, yes. Cooperative two to four player, yes. Two player only, though. Not really made for two player, but the start is in there for those who want to. Deathmatch two to four players, no. Difficulty, not implemented. New sounds, graphics, music, demos, no, 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 and none. Construction, base, new level from scratch. Editors used, do five, two, one, and BSP one, two. Known bugs, none that I know of. If you find any, let me know. All right, where to get this wad? AOL. Oh boy, the glory days of AOL. And believe it or not, there actually were glory days of AOL. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Nice and heavy music for a nice and heavy map. 204 enemies, 22 items, one secret. And a slow ride to something. (sighs) Any day now. (laughs) Oh dear. Was this really necessary? So, um, how is everybody? Doing good, I hope. I did a cooperative uh, Occupluck stream today. That was fun. All right, here we go. Wow. Actually, kind of a cool little start, aside from the uh, pinky blocking my access to additional shoddies. Ugh. Okay. Let's just make sure all the shotgunners, shotgunners are taken care of. And then we're going to go ahead and dodge the fireballs. And, uh... Excuse me. Don't really want this, but okay. This is fine. Thank you for giving me the, sh- the shame gun. Not to be confused with the shame gun. That's something completely different. And that's probably something out of Age Doom. Okay. Wow. No subtlety to be had. I like it. Now that secret was not marked as a secret, but you know what? It was a pretty good one. It's this one. Armor. That's fire. Which doesn't seem to hurt me, unless I'm just getting very lucky with the nukage rhythm. Okay, no, it, it just doesn't hurt me. Ooh. You know, I'm liking the action. And I would say the music is quite appropriate. So we got that taken care of. All in a day's work, baby. Now, uh... Okay. Yeah, no, there's no hurt for. I like it. I like not having to just do the whole... I don't know. Nuked shuffle. Always just... Kind of just ruins the vibe, you know? Oh, wait. Did they open that, or did I shoot that open? I can't really tell. I'm starting to wonder if that nukage sign or that um, poison sign at the beginning is actually a... uh... Found the secret. 
Okay, that's a lot of dudes. Let's, uh... There we go. So that was a secret. That was the thing that was flagged as a secret. Was that actually required to exit? This is E2M5. Is Oh, wow, I found the first hurt floor on the map. Amazing. Or maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. Anywho. Thing I'm kind of curious about is this is an E2M5. I wonder if the it's one of those things where the yellow key is required to get to the secret level exit. That would be reasonable. If it's to get to the main exit, then... Well, it's not really marked on the map as a secret door, so... Uh, I guess I can give that one a partial pass. Let's see if... All right, cool. <laughs> not too shabby. And like I said, I can't really fault the combat in this map because it's... Uh, our good friend Steve keeps the heat up and uh, it's pretty good. The yellow key does seem to be mandatory for progression though, which is very unfortunate. Definitely not a looker either, but uh, eh, I mean, it's like 94, I'll give it a pass. It's not like an outright eyesore, like a lot of maps from this era. Just make some rather odd uses of textures, but eh, you know. As I said, not overly offensive, just a little strange. All right, let's just show the Baron that he is the least threatening thing in the room as he proceeds to hit me because I keep bouncing off of the specters. Which basically, if he needs help, to even be able to hit me, then yeah, he's still the least threatening thing in the room. <laughs> T. He. What's over here? Honestly, though, I do say that if you're going to use a Baron, keep him caged like that. It forces the player to keep moving. Ugh, great. Also, please don't put pinkies on long elevators because you can't shotgun them down in time. Come on. Now up we go. And here we are. Mmm, hit scanner gallery. I like it. So so far this is proving to be quite a bit better than the last map. Who would have thought? Alright, cool. Oh wait. Doors. Haha. <laughs> and those weren't even hidden doors. That was all me derping around. Not super crazy about the lighting, but eh. I've seen worse. I've seen so much worse. Okay. Let's take care of this. This area's a bit symmetrical, but. Oh, okay, I see. Blue key card. I don't recall seeing a blue card. Oh, hi. Or blue key door. I could be wrong. I don't know. From a level flow perspective, I generally prefer to see the, the door before I get the card. I don't, I don't think, um, I don't think that's really a hot take, for being honest. But, yeah. This tends to make more sense, I, I don't know. It's a little harder to pull that off on, like, non-linear levels, but on something like this, I think it could have, it could have worked. Okay, now this texturing choice is a bit, uh, yeah. It's a bit no, how about that? Ugh, in there. The lighting is definitely no. And perfect room for the chain gun. 
technically the last one was as well, but um, I did not have it equipped, so um, I didn't use it. I also have the plasma rifle. But I don't think that's really necessary here. To be perfectly honest, I'm not sure I would have given the player the plasma rifle in this level at all. Just, for the enemies you face, it seems a bit overkill. I mean, there are those cacos at the beginning, but that's still a bit... I don't know. Reduce the number of cacos to one, and uh, this would have been fine. Good secret door. So... <laughs> Except the only secret in the level was the yellow keycard room, which is mandatory for progression. So that's a little awkward, but I don't know. Ugh. I do just like projectile enemies in long hallways, because it's like, you always end up doing that, like just walking backwards through the entire length of the hallway just to avoid the projectile. Because Doom Guy moves really fast. Uh, okay, this is kind of giving me a tapeworm suck ain't I vibe. Vibes. Wait, why is that one not marked as... Okay. I guess that line def is marked as never show on the map. Just cause. Oh, good thing I had the blue key. Because that was totally a blue key door. Unmarked, of course. Yeah. Did that. And that <laughs> door over there. Oh, you know what? Let me grab that armor first. That's a red door. Not marked. Yeah. I have a feeling those things that I saw. Yeah. Screw it. Let's make this a little faster. Yeah, the disco lighting. Yeah. It's okay. I'm not gonna... Eh, I don't know. Yeah, it's right here. And wrecked. I don't think they even knew it hit him. Alright, so that was... I called that a secret door earlier, but it was kind of a mandatory door. Or a man door, if you want to abbreviate it in a really stupid way. Out of each their own. So basically the thing that I thought might have been the way forward, or the intended way forward, actually wasn't. What a weird map. Not not bad. Just weird. I actually rather enjoyed most of this. Alright. I don't enjoy this part. This is uh maybe a bit excessive. And I'm just glad that we have Mach 2, so I can call that a uh, tapeworms of or tapeworm suck ain't I thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I think that's the last. Of the is that the last of the enemies? I hope it is. I mean, I, ca I ca I'm counting three of them. There's another enemy left, and that's the exit switch. Where's the last enemy? I don't know where the last enemy is. Uh, you know what? I think that's good enough. There we go. So that was, um, I don't remember what that was called, but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll know when, uh, when I go to edit this. <laughs> that was a fun little map. Um, not the best in terms of overall progression, like, I don't know. Um, I mean, that, that door that led to the yellow key was hidden, or it was not exactly hidden. Like, it it showed up on the auto map, and it isn't the first time the player would have, uh, would have had to hit one of those poison signs. So I guess there was a pattern established. It's just still kind of weird. I, I don't know. And that one secret wall at the end that you have to traverse... Again, a little strange, but most of those walls actually do show up as um, white, or in the original engine it would show up as yellow on the auto map, so um, 
As I've already established, I don't really take off too many points for that, since the auto map is a tool that you always have with you. Outside of that, the combat was generally pretty fun. And you are... <laughs> I mentioned that the plasma rifle was a bit overkill, but I would say you're really rewarded for saving your cells till the end of the map, because... Um, all those pinkies and specters, just tearing through them, yeah, that can get a little tedious. So yeah, not too shabby. I'm gonna go ahead, because that one did have some warts that I kind of went over during the playthrough. I'd say it's probably a good 7 out of 10. I mean, it's um, above average. It's generally where I put the maps that are kind of fun but flawed. So, yeah, I think that works. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.